Hello everyone, my name is Father Mesro, and I'm the parish priest at St. John Armenian Church. And I'm being joined by Father Hove Lohanian of St. Vartan Armenian Church. Hi everyone. Hi Dedeit. Hi Dedeit, how are you? I'm fine. Happy New Year. Happy New Year and Merry Christmas to you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we're here today because we want to talk to you about this pilgrimage which we've been planning to our motherland, Armenia. We're very excited about it. This is going to be the first time that our two parishes are coordinating a pilgrimage together to Hayastan. Uh, and we want to talk to you a little bit about what we have planned and why you think you'll want to join us. It's a good idea, that I yeah. Let's talk about okay, the pilgrimage. Let's talk about it's it. going to be just awesome pilgrimage. And we're going to discover our motherland, Armenia. We will be in Artsakh in Karabakh for three days. Uh, we're going to visit all uh, historical sites in Armenia. We're going to visit and see a lot of old monasteries. We're going to pray there together. We're going to walk a lot together. It's just going to be fun, Derair. You know, Derair, you're from Armenia. I am from Armenia. What does it mean for you to be able to bring members of your community here in the Bay Area to all of our homeland, but particularly the, the land that you were born in. And uh, is it exciting for you to be able to share that experience? Of course, I want to see uh, as many as our people to come to join us, to take them to Armenia, uh, to take them to my hometown, <laughs> to walk on the street Ashtarak. That, Ashtarak that I played on and I, I had fun, I grew up in Armenia and I can't wait to, to show our motherland to our people, to our faithful. As you know, I studied at Holy Echmiadzin at the Gevor Piyam Seminary. We met there uh, sometime before that. I have a deep love in my heart for Armenia. Um, and being able to share that experience with other people is one of the privileges that I appreciate the most as a priest of the Armenian Church. Um, you mentioned that you're going to take us to your hometown in Ashtarak. We will be in Ashtarak. Yeah. So we'll, we'll, all day. For sure, we're going to have a <laughs> party in my, <laughs> my parents' house. <laughs> all right, party. Everybody you heard this yeah, going to be a party yeah. <laughs> at the Ohanyan house in Ashtarak. Fantastic. One of the other places you mentioned that we're going to be visiting is, of course, Artsakh. Artsakh. Yeah. Part of our motherland, of our big, great Armenia. As you know, last year, 2016, it was a very bad year for us Armenians, especially Armenians living in Artsakh, when uh, we again had the conflict with, with our neighboring country. Uh, and I want, I want to take my faithful from Oakland, from Bay Area, from St. Vartan and St. John, uh, to meet there, the brave Armenians living there and fighting for their lives every day mm -hmm. to keep the country and the motherland alive. Um, I can't wait because here in the diaspora, you, myself, we all speak to the faithful about the needs that our brothers and sisters in Gharabakh have for our support, but also for our prayers. This is gonna be a rare opportunity to see firsthand what the reality of their lives are like, but also not just the difficulties, but the beauty of Artsakh, um, the very unique and blessed land that is that place that we are so privileged to be able to protect as Armenians. Yes, for sure. I call Artsakh a piece of paradise. Mm -hmm. It's so beautiful, it's just gorgeous. But it's all monasteries, fortresses, forests, it's just beautiful. That's going to be exciting. It's not the nature only or the, the country, but people mm -hmm. also. We'll see Armenians living there, how open they are. Mm -hmm. They're going to see us on the streets and they're going to welcome us. They're going to talk to us. They're going to come and greet us. Mm -hmm. That's the beauty of the Armenian nature there. That's right. Yeah. We're going to experience it at the source. Well, we're excited about this. We're also excited about being able to visit, as I mentioned, Holy Echmiadzin. Holy Echmiadzin is the, the source of the spring from which the Armenian Christian faith uh, flows to Armenians throughout the world. You and I both spent time there. You spent many times, just not only as a seminarian, but also when you worked in the yes. monastery. Um, I know that we'll be attending Badarak there. Uh, what does it mean, what do you think it means for the faithful to visit Echmiadzin well, as a pilgrim? Mother Seal of Holy Echmiadzin is the center of Armenian Christian identity. 
where we're gonna visit the mother cathedral and we're gonna pray and participate at the Badarak. And we will receive Holy Communion in that very spot where the only begotten Son of God, Jesus Christ, descended. And mm -hmm. we're gonna worship our Lord Jesus Christ in the center of the Armenian Church. Mm -hmm. You know, to be in Echmiadzin and to renew our faith with God in that very place where Jesus Christ descended, it's so spiritual, it's so deep, it's so beautiful, that we're gonna take, take that experience in our hearts till the end, you know? Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. I mean, one should be there to experience that. Of beauty. course, yeah. yeah, you have to be there in person. We can learn about it, we can read about it, we can hear about it, we can sing about it. We're gonna have a beautiful tours there, yeah. and uh, museums, you know, other sites, other cathedrals, other churches, not only specifically, you know, in, in the modern cathedral, but there are a lot of other churches, old churches that we're gonna visit and of we're course. gonna worship, see the grave sites of St. Ripsimus, St. Guyane, and pray, you know, over there in, in their churches also. You know, as you said, there are gonna be many ancient churches that we're going to visit. And for me, each and every one of them is unique. Each and every one of them not only has a story, but also has a very unique spirit, spiritual character that when you visit as a pilgrim, uh, it, you kind of, you take that into your heart and it fulfills you as a Christian. One of the places that I'm very excited about visiting, one of my favorite places in Armenia, is the Lodi region. Mm -hmm. And of course, we can find Hachbat and Sanahin there. These two uh, beautiful, unique monastic complexes that um, at different times throughout Armenian history have meant so much to the Armenian people and to the Armenian church. Um, in my personal experience, it's one of the most beautiful places in the world, you know? Uh, I'm very excited about that. Besides the places we've already mentioned, what, uh, what excites you? What's the unique place, one of your favorite places in Armenia that you can't wait to share with people? <laughs> it's a good question. Every place is unique and special for me that I'm in Armenia. Uh, what can I say? I mean, every spot is very special for me. Mm -hmm. The entire country is in my heart. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever we are learning in diaspora about Saint Mestro Mashtots, and we of course gonna visit his church in Oshagan village, and we're gonna uh, praise God over there next to his gravesite. Uh, we learn about Armenian history, Armenian church, Armenian faith. Everything comes real, alive in Armenia when you are there, mm -hmm. you know, and it's, it's just amazing experience we're going to have and share together. We've talked a lot about many of the spiritual sites we're going to visit. Now let's talk about <laughs> other, stuff. other stuff. Let's talk about Yerevan, right? We're going to be Yerevan, staying in Yerevan. The oldest city in the world. That's right. Yeah. Um, you know, Yerevan is a place many of the Armenians that come from the diaspora, they're surprised because it's such a developed city. It's a city with a, a wonderful nightlife, um, top restaurants, you know, pleasant cafes to enjoy, mm -hmm. cultural entertainment, the opera, dancing and all of these things. And I know our participants are going to have some time to be able to enjoy that as well. Yes. And of course, shopping. Yeah, for sure. Vernissage. <laughs> Vernissage, right? You can't go around You can find everything you want yeah. in Vernissage. Yeah, it's a beautiful place to go. Yeah, uh, we will have uh, tours for two days, I believe, in, in Yerevan because mm -hmm. there are a lot of stuff to explore, to see. Of course, the ancient city visit. of Yerevan. Yes. Yeah, that's what. And of course, we're going to also be spending a good deal of time at Zizernagaper. We're gonna be in Zizernagaper, we're gonna visit the Armenian Genocide Museum. Where else? Um, well, we're going to also visit uh, Kaskad, of course. Kaskad. We're going to see the beautiful we're gonna visit of, the winery. Uh, Yerevan city. Oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, Arani, yeah, we forgot. We're going to visit the oldest winery in the world. Yeah, that's right. right. Where right. They, they found the oldest shoe, even. Yeah. In that region. In that region. In that region. Yeah, that's right. that's... not in that winery. Yeah. <laughs> Although it would make sense. <laughs> Some people drink too much shoe. and they yeah, forgot the a shoe someplace. <laughs> <laughs> right, but not there. It's someplace yeah, nearby. Some, yeah. Uh, we're going to be traveling to Goris on our way to Artsakh, and Goris has this beautiful picturesque area called Khinsoresk. Khinsoresk. 
can you believe there's a place like this, these caves that people lived in for centuries, our, for centuries. our ancestors lived in these caves, up until actually a recent period of time, because there's such beautiful caves, yeah. you don't have <laughs> to get like, a house. Yes. It's a nice place to live. Yeah, of course, and then on our way to Artsakh, we're gonna visit uh, Tatev Monastery. Tatev. A very unique and beautiful place to, to visit and to create. For many people, many pilgrims that visit Armenia, uh, the time that they spend at uh, Datev Monastery is uh, one of the most profound experiences that they can have. You feel as though, and the abbot there has told me this before, that you know, in, in those mountains, in that mountain air and in that space, you feel like you're closer to heaven than in other it's, places. Yeah. I agree with him. Yeah. I agree with you. You know that a few minutes ago you asked me what is the unique and special place for you. We're gonna visit in Armenia Khorvirab. Of course. Where our, uh, the founder of the Armenian Church, Saint Gregory the Illuminator, was there in that Khorvirab for almost 15 years. Mm -hmm. And our Christian identity started from that church from that cathedral from the monastery from that deep pit from that the darkness yes from that darkness to light mm -hmm. you know uh, of course we're gonna enjoy the beauty of mountain ararat from there yeah that's the unique special place for me to be able to descend into the khorvirap into the deep pit that saint gregory was uh, held captive in by candlelight to sing a hymn of the church to say a prayer, you come out, you feel as though you're uh, emerging from a womb, you're being reborn. Yes, you, exactly. you, you know now what it's like to be Armenian, to be a it's Christian. It's real, to it's have not a mission, only the story, history, but it's real. Absolutely. It's real. And you have the feeling that all these people you were talking about, uh, they are alive mm -hmm. in your prayers, you know, mm -hmm. they are still there. You know, it's amazing. It's amazing. I mean, one should be there to... What a gift. I mean, in your life, I'm sure you've visited, for example, Khorvira several times. Uh, in my life, the first time I was fortunate enough to visit it was in 2001 for the mm -hmm. anniversary of the uh, Armenian being a Christian state. I was there. You were there. We were both there, but yes. there was thousands <laughs> of people there. We didn't know each other yes. then. As a priest, once, twice, three, four, five, six times, it's not enough. No. Maybe some of the people watching uh, this video have been to Armenia before and they say, I've been to those places, mm -hmm. you know, I've seen there, I've been there, I've done that. But I can say as somebody who's been fortunate enough to go and visit many of these places multiple times, every time is a new experience. With new people, with new insights, yes. uh, you know, with new emotions. Yes. Yeah. It's like we are reading the same passage from the, the Holy Gospels, from the Bible. Exactly. Each time when we read the same passage, each time God reveals a new beautiful thing for us. Mm -hmm. And we learn something good from there. We take something to our hearts. So it's exactly the same thing, same experience we're going to have. That's right. We learn a truth yeah, about we Christ, each we learn time. a truth about ourselves. For sure. For we sure. learn a truth about our identity as Armenians. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So better... You mark your calendars from June 4 to 18. That's right. Yes, and let's have fun. Let's discover our motherland together with Der Mestrop and Der Hovel. By the way, uh, this year is a very special year for our both churches. This year we will celebrate the 60th anniversary of the consecration of both churches. St. John Armenian Church in San Francisco and St. Barton Armenian Church in Oakland. That's right, it's an important occasion for both of us and one of the reasons why we wanted to um, coordinate and lead this pilgrimage together. Yes, is to give thanks to God for these two communities uh, who halfway around the world from the Mother Sea of Holy Yechmi Adzin have kept bright the uh, flame of their faith in the hearts of the Armenian people. Uh, and what better way to celebrate that than to take them back to the source? Yes, exactly. exactly. Back to our roots. That's right. Yes. Uh, for 60 years, and of course, uh, over 60 years, our both churches took care of the spiritual needs of our uh, Armenian faithful of, of Bay Area, serving them so faithfully, taking them to God, to our mm -hmm. Lord Jesus Christ. And it's a good opportunity to celebrate this big number, of course, 
uh, in motherland as you said to to go back to our sources yeah. yeah so if you're watching this please think about it we're so excited to have you come with us there's room there's room for as many people as want to come and we've already got many people who have signed up so we hope that you will uh, visit our websites you can go to the website at St. John or the website at St. Vartan contact our parishes and by the way even if you're not from the Bay Area you're welcome to join us many people have registered for the trip already who are coming from outside of the Bay Area we would love to have you can't wait to see you in Armenia that's right Aslan Zorhet says, God bless all of you. May God bless us during this Christmas season and may his light shine in our hearts. Uh, and as we say to all pilgrimage, Aslan Zorhet Gatare. Aslan Zorhet Gatare. That's right. So may God fulfill our oaths, all of you who wish to participate in this pilgrimage with us. And may God grant all of us and our family members a healthy and happy new year. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Dere. Thank you, Dere. That's it. That's it.